Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for the second part of our lesson from last week. Do you remember what was going on? I'll give you a hint. Who built the ark? Noah, Noah, who built the ark? Brother Noah built the ark. And do you remember what happened? In came the animals two by two, a big giraffe and a kangaroo. Yes, God sent the animals two by two, two of every kind of animal, into the ark that Noah and his sons had built. And then God told Noah that he should get his wife and his three sons and their wives and all of them should get on the ark. And they did. And then God shut that door and they were safe in the ark. And then the rains came. The pitter patter, pitter patter of rain. And then it came down harder and harder and harder and it rained and rained and rained until that ark was not on the dry ground anymore. Now it was floating on the sea. And it floated and it floated because it rained and rained for 40 days and 40 nights. I wonder if you can count to 40. Maybe after our Bible lesson, you can show your mom how you can do it. Well, after 40 days and 40 nights of being in that ark with the rain coming down, suddenly the rain stopped. It must have been very quiet. I wonder if they realized it or if it took a minute for them to think, huh, I don't hear rain anymore. And it took weeks and weeks for that water to go down, but finally that water went down and that boat rested on top of a mountain. It was called Mount Ararat. And finally, God told Noah that he could come out of that ark and he could bring his wife and his sons and their wives and he could bring all the animals. They could finally come out of that ark and they did. All of them safe on dry ground. Oh, I bet you they were leaping for joy. So happy to be on dry ground again and to see the sun shining and the blue sky after being in that ark for such a long time. Well, Noah did something special. He and his boys built an altar. This is an altar. And an altar is a special place of worship. And Noah and his sons and their wives and Mrs. Noah, we don't want to forget about Mrs. Noah, all worship God. And they had thankful hearts because God had kept them safe inside that ark. And you know, God was very happy when Noah thanked him. And God made a special promise to Noah that the whole earth would never be covered by water again. And then God put a rainbow in the sky to help people remember this promise. And you know, every time we see a rainbow, we can remember that promise that God made to Noah. And do you know, boys and girls, this is a special rainbow. It is the real rainbow, and it always has the colors in this order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. They are always in that order. And every time you see a rainbow, you know that you can make a rainbow when if you spray the garden hose when the sun is shining you'll see a rainbow and you can thank god right then for protecting noah and his family and for promising that he will never destroy the earth with a flood again 
We have our Bible verse for today, which is love the Lord your God with all your heart. But our Bible verse also has a little extra in the song and goes like this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Can you see the heart? Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Then listen and obey. Thank him every day like Noah. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Let's sing it again. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Then listen and obey. Thank him every day. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. That's our Bible lesson for today. Have a wonderful week. Remember to listen and obey God's word and to have a thankful heart like Noah. We will see you next Sunday, hopefully at church, and before long we're going to be down in our Sunday school department. But until then, remember how much Mrs. Rill and I love you and that we're praying for you. Bye-bye.